Hey everyone, this is Brebster and this is the next problem in my Sudoku problem series, number 54. This is a Renban problem by Wu Chen Lin. Um, and this is, um, I was sent, probably, I've now been sent, I think, about 20 different problems um, by Wu Chen Lin. And I, they're all really, really cool. And I, I, it's very, very tempting to just spend a month doing them, but I think that would be bad for everyone else who's submitted. Um, so anyway, this is a Renban problem. Um, so the way Renban um, works is each set Renban line must contain a set of consecutive non-repeating digits in any order. Um, and the goal of this, of course, is just to place the digit in the digits in the cells marked with an X. No other digits need to be got. So below you will find a link to where you can uh, get a copy of this grid for yourself so you can try and solve it. Um, I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video and then I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so this is building on a concept that um, happened in the previous Renban problem that I got um, from Wu Chen Lin, which was, um, which basically was just a single line with a an, a an extreme digit on it, and then you had to figure out what the other digit was. And that's basically what's happening in row one here. If we put a nine on this line, we can never put a one on this line because you would have you literally have to put eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two on it because this is an eight length line. If you were to put a one on it, whatever digit you put in here, you're breaking the consecutive. So this becomes a one. And now we can look at this column. We've got a nine on this. And again, this has to contain nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. We don't know where they go, um, but it's, it, I'm sorry, eight, seven, six, eight, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, um, in addition to the nine, because it has to go down from the nine. And so these were going to be one and two, but we now know this is one, so this becomes a two. Now, we know in this row, um, if we were to put a one on this line, we would need to put a two on this line to reach the three. So we can't put a one on the line. So this has to, a one has to be over here, but there is a three on this line. There's no two or one, but there is a three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can never get up to a nine. So this has to be a one nine pair. And this nine gives us the order. This becomes the one and this becomes the nine. And now we can look at this. Well, we've got a one and a two on, on this. So the maximum we could get is two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can never put an eight on this line without breaking the consecutive. So this becomes the eight and that's the solution to this problem. And it's just the same thing as we did. I mean, that doesn't make it bad, but it's reinforcing the logic we got from that very first Renban problem. Um, really like this one. I, I like the way this one flowed around the grid and was able to sort of follow those deductions through. Uh, yeah, I'm really loving the series myself. People keep telling me how they love the series, even if they can knock them out in a few seconds. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying these too. And I just wanted to stress that. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I am and other people are as well. Um, and as always, good luck with your solving.